Today I'm going to be making venison meatballs and the ingredients that you'll need is approximately one pound of ground venison, two large Vidalia onions, a half a cup of milled flaxseed, one cup of Parmesan cheese, basil, garlic, and two large eggs. So first, I'm going to be cutting up my Vidalia onion. So now I'm getting ready to place the onions inside the bowl. And again, I've sliced two Vidalia onions. And I'm also preheating my oven to 350 degrees. And next, you will see I've got fresh venison. And again, the venison is a uh, very lean meat. It has been ground. This uh, deer or venison is from the Appalachian area. And it, uh, it was from private land during uh, this past deer season. So it's, it's still fresh. You don't want to keep it very long in the freezer. So the venison is in. And next, I'm going to put one cup of Parmesan cheese in. And then I have a half a cup of ground milled flaxseed. Next, I'm putting two large eggs into the meatballs. The last ingredients that I'm putting into the venison meatballs are garlic. And again, we like a lot of garlic at my house. This is probably going to be a good tablespoon of dry garlic powder. And then I'm going to be adding approximately one tablespoon of basil. And then after uh, the spices are in, I'm just going to start folding the ingredients together. Okay, so the meat has been mixed. And so now I'm getting ready to spray the bottom of my pan that I'm going to be cooking the meatballs in. Next, I'm spraying the bottom of my pan with olive oil. So I'm getting ready to make the first meatball. And I'm making the meatballs rather small. They're about a little bit over an inch in diameter. And I'm just rotating the meat. And you can see the spices that are in the meatballs. And I'm just rotating the meat and I'm making sure that everything is nice and packed, as you can see. And this is probably going to take a good five to ten minutes. So I'm going to show you one more meatball. I've got four right now. And this is my fifth meatball. And then I'm going to finish up. And I'm going to place them in the oven again at 350 degrees for 20 minutes and then I'm going to check to see if they are browning and if the juices are running clear and if they are not then I'm going to continue to cook them for another five to ten minutes. The venison meatballs are ready to be placed into the oven. I made approximately 24 small meatballs, a little bit over an inch in size each. And the oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. 
and I will be cooking them for approximately 20 minutes and then I'm going to check to see if the juices are running clear. If not, then I will cook them an additional 5 to 10 minutes. And I will be taking them out and showing you what the results are. Now I'm getting ready to make the mozzarella cheese sauce that I was speaking of earlier. I'm slicing a stick of butter and I'm getting ready to place the butter in my skillet and I'm getting ready to turn the stove top on medium high and I'm going to let the butter melt and the ingredients for the cheese sauce are going to be butter, flour, garlic powder, approximately four cups of whole milk and two cups of Italian blend finely shredded cheese and I chose the finely shredded cheese because it will melt a lot easier within the milk as the milk starts to heat up and turns into a sauce. So the butter is starting to melt And as soon as the butter melts, I will be using a shake flour that, uh, that I tend to use with all of my sauces and gravies. It's easier to blend and there's less lumps. So now you'll see me shaking the flour in. And again, I'm starting in the middle and I'm working my way around as I shake the flour. And I will be adding a little bit of garlic powder to the cheese sauce that I'm making. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to start adding the milk. And again, you want to gradually add the milk and you want to keep the whisk moving in a circular motion and you just want to add a little bit at a time and I am using garlic powder to taste and I will be cutting the mozzarella in last once the sauce starts to thicken. So the sauce is thickening, so I'm going to gradually start adding a little bit more of the milk. And I am using whole milk. So my sauce is starting to thicken. So I'm getting ready to add a little bit of sea salt to taste, not a lot, and I'm now getting ready to blend the cheese into the sauce. So I'm just going to start shaking a little bit at a time to blend it. And I just want to work it in. And again, I'm using finely shredded mozzarella. And it's a mozzarella blend. And it's starting to thicken up very nicely. And again, I'll, I'll put two cups of that in. And I'm just going to lower the heat. And so it's starting to bubble, and the cheese has melted, and we have a nice mozzarella cheese. I've just taken the meatballs out of the oven, and I'm getting ready to serve them 
with the mozzarella cheese sauce that I made. And again, the meatballs are gluten free. However, I am going to be serving them with pasta that has wheat in them. So you can uh, be assured that the ingredients in the meatballs are gluten free, but the pasta is not gluten. I'm getting ready to serve the pasta, which you will see on the plate. And next, I'm pouring the cheese sauce over the pasta. And last, I'm getting ready to put the meatballs on top of the pasta. So there you have it, venison meatballs with cheese sauce over pasta. I hope you enjoy. Until next time.